Welcome to episode number 11 of the Slate Aspire tutorial series. In this episode, we are going to create the views for the enemies and the hero. Let's go! First, we will create a competent view base prefab. Because both the hero and the enemies have health and an image, we can create this prefab and reuse it for both of them. If we ever change the text style or the image size, we need to do it only once. The base will have, like I already said, an image and a text for the health. We position them properly and style the text a bit. We can also set the happy slime sprite here as an example. We then drag the base into the prefabs folder. We then create a parent game object for the base in the scene and call it enemy view. We can then copy it and call the copy hero view. We also space them out a bit so that we can see both in a scene. Those will be the two prefabs for the hero and the enemy. The hero won't have any additional elements for now. The enemy will have an additional text for its attack power. In the views folder we create three scripts. The enemy view, the hero view and the combatant view. The last one will be the base for the other two scripts. We then add the scripts to the game objects. For the enemy, we also add a collider. We will use it later for targeting. Let's first implement the competent view script as it will serve as the base for the other two. We will have two references here, one to the health text and one to the sprite renderer. We will also have two ends for the max and current health of the character. Then we will have a setup base method which will set the base up. We will use an update health text method to update the health text. Then, in the enemy view script, which inherits from competent view, we have another reference to the attack text and an end that will hold the attack power. We will also have a setup method. And an update attack text method. The setup method will use enemy data later, but for now let's insert some dummy data here. Last, we also have to make sure that we call the setup base method from the competent view script. The hero view will also inherit from competent view and will also have a setup method. We use some dummy data here as well. Back in Unity, we can now fill all the references for both scripts. We finally can drag both objects into the prefabs folder to make them prefabs. We then delete the enemy view because we will create it later depending on how many enemies we will have. The hero view can stay. Let's just position it a bit more to the left. Great. 
So the views are ready and in the next episode we will create the data for the enemies and the hero. I hope you have enjoyed this episode and if you liked it, please leave a like and a sub. Thank you for watching and see you next time.